Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Sarah, otherwise known as Sarah Says Hi here on YouTube, and I follow a ketogenic diet, and I also do alternate day fasting. I've been doing the ketogenic diet about, about a year and a half now, and my grand total of weight loss even before keto is 100 pounds. I haven't weighed myself in a week, so I don't know if I've lost or gained any weight over the last week. In this video, I'm going to be testing my blood glucose reading after eating the Bulletproof Collagen Bars, protein bars. Um, I have never tried these bars before. In fact, I think the only Bulletproof products I have tried is I did buy like the Octane oil one time that you dump into your Bulletproof coffee. And then um, I also tried some of their like pre-made coffee drinks and those were okay tasting. So one, I'm curious to find out if these bars even taste good and two, are they really keto friendly, blood sugar friendly? I actually bought these from the grocery outlet and I think it's the video that comes out before this one. You should see it in that grocery haul. So I paid $11.99 for this box of 12 bars. On Amazon, they have it for $29.99 and they're saying that it's $1.58 a bar. Oh, they only have three left in stock on Amazon right now. I'm not sure how long these bars have been out. It looks like Amazon's rating was not that great. Um, yeah, they're giving it a three and a half stars. Oh. Someone posted a photo and said, good flavor, only 11 net carbs. Not sure how this happens, but crumbly until you eat them, then very sticky. Make sure to have liquid handy. My husband tried to eat on the way to work, and as you can see in the photo, it made a mess. I may buy again, but not through the mail. Eight of the 12 bars were broken into multiple pieces. She's got a photo of like crumbs, like in her husband's car. <laughs> <laughs> the very first rating that pops up is only a two star. Not exactly keto compatible. Um, this review was made two years ago. It says, I'm super bummed. I was so excited to get these bars. They are delicious and I love the taste, but they are not keto compatible. I like to have bulletproof bars in my pocket when I go to work. And these bars are really more like a keto dessert that I can have twice a week at most. I can't return them for the awesome fudge brownies. Just wanted to let everyone doing, just wanted to let everyone doing keto to know these bars aren't something you can eat often. Well, Alexis, we're gonna find that out today to find out if they really are keto compatible. Let me go ahead and open the box. So, they are kind of small and um, firm. I can feel already through the packaging that they're rather firm. Let me see if it has an expiration date. Uh, best by March of 2021. Uh, this is the second week of February, so I need to eat these up, I guess. Uh, maybe that's probably why they were at the grocery outlet. So they're actually saying on the wrapper that they're 10 grams of net carbs. So maybe they changed the formula since Alexis left her review uh, three years ago on Amazon. So let's go through the nutrition facts first. So one bar, which is a 45 gram bar, is 210 calories. The total fat is 12 grams. Uh, the carbohydrates is 15 grams, but there's five grams of dietary fiber, and then there's three grams of total sugars and 12 grams of protein. So they're saying the bar has 10 grams of net carbs. Um, now let's go to the ingredients. Organic cashew butter, hydrolyzed collagen, inulin, and says in parentheses, chicory, bulletproof XCT oil powder, which is caprylic, and capric triglycerides, tapioca dextrin, bulletproof brain octane oil, which is caprylic triglycerides, organic apples, so that's where some of the sugar is coming from, there is actual apples in this bar, organic cashews, organic maple extract, organic coconut oil, apple essence, organic ground cinnamon, vanilla extract, sea salt, malic acid, organic stevia leaf extract. So really it's natural sugar that is in this bar because it's the only sugar that is coming from the apples because they're only using stevia leaf as the additional sweetener in this. Okay, so it so far doesn't look crumbly. It also does not look appetizing, guys. To me, this 
I mean, I'm used to the, the heck of good bars and this does not look appetizing to me. I don't know what this looks like. This looks like a protein bar that I have tried to make myself a million times and came out like rock hard and disgusting. It does smell like an apple cinnamon bar. Okay, so the first thing to do is start with a baseline blood sugar reading. Um, haven't had anything to eat yet. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning on my day off, which is Friday, and today is February 12th. Do you guys wipe off the first drop of blood? Because um, obviously the nurses do that in my skilled nursing facility at work. Uh, I always see the nurse do that, that she'll poke the patient and then she wipes off that first drop of blood and then she'll take the next drop of blood as the reading. I never do that. 124? Holy moly. That's really high for me. Obviously what I ate last night was not that great. And last night for dinner, I had two pieces of like these little round steaks that had bacon around them. And what else did I eat with it? And I had a yogurt, a keto yogurt. Um, one of the two good yogurts with carob nibs on it. That was it. I didn't have anything like a treat. So I am shocked that my blood glucose is that high. Should not be that high but I didn't fast yesterday. Yesterday was an eating day. So there's the first reading, 124. Um, I am not testing ketones with this. So now I'm going to eat this bar and I'm gonna come back in an hour to test my blood glucose then. So let's just give this a taste test. Um, for the viewer that said it's crumbly, let's get a napkin ready. It does smell like an apple pie. It does smell really good. Mm. 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 No. Mm. I need water. First product of 2021, worst product of the year goes to these bars. This is disgusting. Oh God. The first bite I did taste like apple, the apple flavoring. And then it was just overrun by cashew butter. And then like seconds later came a very strong chemical taste. Um, and now that's all I have in my mouth is a chemical mixed with apple flavoring. I can't even describe what the chemical tastes like. It just has that chemically taste. That's the only way I can describe it. Oh God. If any of you guys have tried these bulletproof bars, leave a comment for me down below. Let me know what you thought about them. Um, I'm sure I'm going to sway a lot of you to not want to try this bar now that I've tried it. I've tried a lot of terrible keto protein bars. Kiss My Keto happens to be one of those bars that I think is terrible, but I actually would eat the Kiss My Keto bar over this one. This is just awful because of the fact that it tastes like chemical. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna manage to get this bar down and then I will start a timer um, and come back in an hour to check the blood sugar. Welcome back. It's been one hour since I ate the Bulletproof Collagen Protein Bar. Um, I didn't really get to go into the specifics of the bar other than how it tasted. Um, the texture was a little bit crumbly. Um, it did not leave like a gazillion crumbs like how that Amazon reviewer described it. Um, so maybe they've modified the formula since then. It was a little crumbly, but it wasn't too bad. There is no chew to it. It kind of feels gritty. Um, that's all I can say about as far as like the texture and stuff. Um, there were tiny little bits of apple. You could actually taste little apple chunks. Um, for example, like dehydrated apple that you would find in Quaker's oatmeal, like the little instant oatmeal packets. I'm sure some of you have tried those before and you know what those little dehydrated little pieces of apple tasted like. That's exactly the same kind of texture that was found in this bar. Um, like there would be an aftertaste and I could feel like little pieces of that dehydrated apple stuck in my teeth. But yeah, the flavor is just, that is just, the flavor is just not enjoyable at all. Um, I don't know if it's because of all the octane oil and the collagen. I'm not sure what was giving it that awful chemical taste. I don't care if it does have a lot of MCT oils and caprylic 
acid, whatever all that stuff was in there. Um, it doesn't matter if all those things are good for you when it tastes like garbage, when it's supposed to be like a a bar that you know that you would eat maybe on your way to work or something. So anyhow, let's just find out if this bar truly is keto friendly. So just as a reminder, let me open up my Keto Mojo app again to show you the last or the baseline blood reading that I had. So it was 124. And now we are gonna see where we are after one hour. I have been up and moving, walking around. I ran an errand, I had to go drop off a package. I don't know if that really impacts on lowering blood glucose as well. I know when I was pregnant with my son and I had gestational diabetes, the doctors always told me to walk after a meal because supposedly that was supposed to help bring down your blood glucose readings. So I have been a little bit active, but you know, not like doing a workout or anything. So let's go ahead and check out the level. Okay. So it lowered my blood glucose to 109. Um, so sorry, Alexis, your review um, on Amazon is not accurate. This is definitely a keto friendly bar. Um, it brought down the blood glucose readings. So that is definitely going to be a good option for people that are looking to maintain blood sugar levels or lower blood sugar levels by eating a snack. However, the taste is just awful. Um, I would rate it a one star. That's being very generous. I, I wish I could give it a half a star, but we'll just go in whole stars here. So it gets a one star on flavor just because it's just God awful. I would not recommend anyone to buy this flavor. Maybe some of the other flavors taste better. Um, I can see why maybe this does not have a high rating on Amazon. Um, you know, if you happen to see them at the grocery outlet and you want to try them for $11.99 for a box of 12, 99 cents a bar, have at it. Um, if I could do it over again, I would not purchase these bars. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. And when you do, don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that'll notify you every time that I've uploaded a new video. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one.